Yo, do they kind of look alike or am I going fucking crazy? This is the second reaction video I'm gonna do of Dylan Sprouse, Barbara Palvin. The first one was fucking fun. They are both super charming people. Let me stop saying fucking. I'm gonna do this without saying fucking. The first one was fun. They're both super charming people. I'll bet you if I just took the face of Barbara Palvin in Photoshop and moved it onto Dylan Sprouse, you wouldn't even know. Is it just me or does Dylan now look like he's officially the kid from Big Daddy? That was a joke. <laughs> Once again, best friend energy babies and boys. Ooh, I had a comment today. Here, hold on, I have to pull it up because it's so fucking funny. Oh, let me just show you the funniness, please. There's this dude that kind of found his way onto my channel through probably clicking on like dating content on YouTube. CT Guitar Guy 85, which means he's 36 years old. A man should always have the woman enter his frame and he should lead, period. Red Pill 101. This nice guy stuff is nonsense. It does not build attraction at all. I know who CT Guitar Guy is. He's this dude. Let's get ready. Mom, is there any hot pockets left in the freezer? CT Guitar Guy goes on another video and he goes, treat her like your best friend. Rational male Rolo Tomasi would disagree. That's about as blue pilled as it gets. These are men that literally don't date women. They don't have relationships with women. They don't know women. They just know what they watch on the internet. And because they have the male gaze, because they are attracted to this type of shit on the fucking internet, they go, that's what women like too. But the perfect example of two people that are just so good for each other. They have such good chemistry and there's no dominance or not me, whatever the f he's talking about. It's just two best friends acting like idiots together. Let's watch it again. That's it. That's all this shit takes. If you do that with somebody that you're attracted to, game over, it's pretty good. Now that doesn't mean that you're, everybody you're attracted to is going to be attracted to you back. But if you are your 100% self, hide nothing, sir. Everything is out there, right? You're not apologetic for who you are. You're not apologetic for being even anxious. Let's say you're fucking anxious and you go up to somebody that you're attracted to. This is the concept that took me like years to accept, to understand, to grasp the idea idea of owning my anxiety instead of fighting my anxiety, which is what I used to do. I used to go on date after date after date and fight my anxiety every night. I would try to not act anxious. I would try to do all of the things that would make me act cool and tough and ugh, I'm scared of nothing. This is the difference between true confidence and fake confidence. Fake confidence, listen closely here. Fake confidence is when you hide your insecurities, you hide your vulnerability. True confidence is when you own everything. So when I would go on dates after that, if I was anxious, I would let the anxiety be out there. If I was tired, if I was in a low energy mood, not very extroverted, I'd let that out there too. That's how I got over my fear of doing videos that I'm doing right now. Because when I turned on the camera, I was like, whoa, this is not a social interaction. I don't feel comfortable right now. I mastered my like social anxieties, but being in front of a camera, this is like, performance anxiety. How do I get over this? And I had to reteach myself to own my anxieties, to own my mood. Now I know we're getting off on a tangent here and we're not really talking about Dylan and Barbara, but I guarantee you, this is how they live their lives as well. We should be eating ice cream in a cool environment. Let's get away for the weekend. Yeah. You got nothing else to do? You have nothing else to do? Do you? <laughs> I wasn't well, directing you, it at you. you have First to, off, no, like, but that's me. Do you have to me. play 10 hours of video game or what? That's eight hours. Okay, I couldn't play 10. Baby, you wake up at eight and you go to bed at midnight. Turn the camera off! <laughs> <laughs> this is my good side. Every side, your good side, baby. 
Wink. Before we talk about the fact that it is literally like the exact same faces, look at those profiles. They're perfect. And they are the same. And we could flip them and they'd be the same. It's kind of like the Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, whatever. But I want you to just look at that interaction right there. They are so socially aware as well because they know that they're not fighting. They know that they were just having like meaningless, fun, cute, flirty bickering between each other about like how much he plays video games and like whatever. And Dylan wanted to highlight that that by yelling at the camera, turn the camera off! Like they were about to have a big fight. This is a perfect example of owning the situation rather than getting scared, trying to act like it's not there. Like he could have just been like, uh, let's, let's talk about something else. Whatever like a fucking alt-right red pill piece of shit could do to try to act like an alpha male. He's just going with the situation. He knows it's a joke. He knows it's playful. They are best friends and they're having a conversation that two best friends would have. Pull me close to you. We could do this. Do what? We could buy this. Right? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to? Yeah. For I real cheap. Real cheap? Real cheap. But we would to... have to build our own cabin. I'm fine with that. Because I don't mean the land is cheaper. I'm a cheapskate. You are. <laughs> I am. Well, let's try. Okay. Here's the deal. We'll buy a land, and we're going to spend the least amount of money possible on the land and have the most beautiful camera ever. Okay. That's a deal. Do I shake on it? Yeah. God, they're cute. I don't really have much else to say about that. They are really adorable. Like, turning into my favorite couple ever, maybe? Oh, it's okay. It made it. I saved the baby chicken! Baby! Can we buy him now? What I'd really like to see is a famous couple that met online, like that met on Raya and then got into a relationship. Because that to me would make it like just as real as everyone else's dating life, right? Like having to swipe, going through the texting, oh, is they gonna respond back? All of that stuff, that's what's interesting to me. And that's why I made a free online dating class that you can get in the link in the description that'll teach you the one change you need to make to your online dating approach that will only bring you dates that you are attracted to. And if you like that free class, guess what? I don't know why I do these things. You have an opportunity to get my full online dating course called Textual Healing at a discount after you watch the free class. I just updated it with a new section called Dating Perspectives, where I take single people from around Los Angeles and I have them literally start swiping on people's profiles and critiquing them, giving their feedback about what they like, what they don't like, why they would swipe, why they wouldn't swipe right on somebody's profile. It's super, super valuable. When I was single, I would have loved a resource that showed what is the other person thinking of my profile. And now you have that resource in the textual healing online dating course. Click the link in the description to get it. But let's watch the rest of this video and then you could watch. We should buy some bug spray. I don't think we need bug spray, babe. There's no bugs out here. What do you mean? There's no bugs in Northern California. Just because I'm from Hungary, I'm not <laughs> dumb, okay? But we should get some cat spray. Lots of cats. For the mountain lions? <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's a catnip dispenser, What's, it, what's a catnip? Oh, you don't have, you've never had a cat. It's a catnip. Catnip is like cat weed. Like it's super high off. Of it. Are you lying again? No, that's no, that's not a lie. That's real. So there are no bugs in it, and and well, then cats you... smoke weed, huh? Cat. Okay. You know how we call the chicken in in Hungary, so, so they you. come to you. Okay. Thank huh. you guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey, yeah, thanks, bye. Guys. All right, babe. Let's go. Cheers, <laughs> baby. Cheers, baby. What do cowboys say? Is there a saying for cowboys? For cowboys? Ah, God, I'm not enough of a cowboy to know. But I think it's something like Dag Nabbit. I think this is the town. <laughs> ah, it's a lot of grape growing land. I don't know why I said that. I'm not gonna grow grapes. <laughs> this is a beautiful property. I'm glad you like it. Donkeys, where are you? 
Now this is a necessary thing for couples to do, but certainly me and my girlfriend do the same exact thing as Dylan and Barbara here, is we're joking around all the time. But it's not joking around to like cover up serious stuff. Like you could tell that these two get into deep conversations, or maybe you can't tell, but I could tell just by looking at them and knowing them from their first video I did on them. You could tell that they really like to get into deep conversations too. So I would say it's probably like 50-50, like playfulness and then like real conversation. But the one one thing that I talk about so much for chemistry between two people that are attracted to each other is having a similar sense of humor. And you can tell that they're improv with each other. They're like little yes ands where somebody says something and then the other person will take it and grow with it rather than just shunning it, saying, no, this is what I think is funny. That is such a powerful thing for two people to do. Having that shared sense of humor and that ability to do improv with each other is exactly what I'm seeing with Dylan and Barbara. Yeah, prick them. Why? I don't know, because they got in my sneakers. It's not our fault. <laughs> See, you're causing everyone pain, babe. Okay, then fine, let's fucking go back. No, I'm kidding. It's not funny. Stop. I'm sorry that I actually properly want to see the land, and I'm sorry that you're a big baby and you're. No, son, I'm gonna miss. I didn't say that once. I literally did not say that once. Yeah, you did. No. It was all off camera, see, so no one proved that that happened. Okay. I just love how they're able to always be teasing each other and not take it so seriously. And this is so important in a relationship because there are relationships where two people tease each other a lot. But the problem with that is when another couple will tease each other, they'll do it in a way where they're half serious. So each tease is like a little jab and that's like death by a thousand cuts. You'll kill a relationship that way. The difference here, and again, this is just type of stuff that I'm sensing because I relate to this type of relationship that they have. It's, it, it looks so similar to the way me and my girlfriend interact, their relationship is 100% based. It has a foundation in complete love and support for each other. So all of the teasing on top, they know it's not serious. Now I'm gonna compare that to the Shane Dawson and Ryland Adams video that I recently reacted to, where even though that I know Shane and Ryland definitely love each other and support each other, I do sense that their teasing has a little bit of that half seriousness in it. It's like little jabs here and there. And I could tell that when Shane does it to Ryland and maybe even Ryland doing it to Shane, that it actually hurts. And they probably are not communicating that. Now, I don't think that Shane and Ryland have a bad relationship. I actually think they have a good relationship. But is it 100% healthy? I don't think so. When I'm looking at Barbara and Dylan here, I actually do think it is 100% healthy. Now, again, this is just me checking out videos that they're making on the internet. I have no idea what it's like when the cameras are off. I mean, nobody knows for sure, but come on. I know for sure. <laughs> so, what's our decision? All right, well, I can tell you... Where did that one come from? Your butt. Your butt? These are the lands. That one's a definite no, right? For me, it's a definite no. Even though it's the only one that has a lake, which, which I love. And it's kind of far from the town. What, did it take us, like an hour almost in total? 45 minutes, I would say. Yeah. This is a no. Where's it going again? It's back. Huh? <laughs> I love how Barbara has like a very subtle, fucked up sense of humor. I think it really balances well with Dylan. Just got a good combination because, you know, like if you were sloping. Yeah, exactly. Mountain, yeah. Flat here. It's, it's got some nice access points. Yeah. Trails are already yeah, worked out. Yeah, all that, yeah. There was a bobcat. Yep. But it's a little bit out of her budget. Well, I baby. Be, I, 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 know, I know. I liked it because it's how many acres? 170. 171. Untouchable. That many acres, you could do whatever you want. What do you mean by that? Baby. Whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> 170 acres, it's kind of difficult to the maintenance of it. True. I don't think I need 170 acres. I think it's, I... Oh, you're right. I Frankly, understand it's like three times bigger than the one I like, but also the price is kind of 
double. Going back to what I was talking about earlier, how I think it, this is a 100% healthy relationship, and I do think so even when the cameras aren't rolling, just look at them right here trying to decide what land they want to choose to live on and build on. You could see that both of them are taking in each other's opinions, and this is an equal judgment here. Dylan doesn't have any more power than Barbara. Barbara doesn't have any more power than Dylan. It's equal. It's so beautiful to me to watch this, actually, because you could tell that they are such a team. There, frankly, I'm trying to think, would I ever use 171 acres? No. No, I wouldn't. But would it be cool to have 171 acres? Man, I really want to do a part three for them because they are such a great couple. And I think they're such a great example of what a very healthy couple looks like. Listen, if we get this video to 100,000 views, we will do that. I don't know what footage I'll use. I mean, I guess Breaking Ground goes on for another several episodes, but is that all? I mean, there's got to be more footage of these guys. So I have three fun things I want to talk to you about. Number one, you can click the link in the description for the free online dating class. Number two, I just started a new podcast where I go live twice a week on YouTube where we talk about relationships, social skills, confidence, happiness, and how to be yourself in the process. With this podcast, it's super important that I get you guys involved. I really want to build a strong community with the betas podcast. And that's why I bring subscribers up for a live q and I'll put you guys on fake dates on Zoom live and then give you some pointers along the way to help you get ready for dates in real life. Click the link in the description. I stream 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. I very well might be streaming right now. And number three, I finally have a Reddit, everybody. This is the place where you could suggest new video ideas for me. I'm going to be looking at it every day all the time. And you don't just have to post video links of videos you want me to react to. You could also post memes, ideas for new series you want me to put out, anything like that.